In today's video, we're cleaning up the UI a little bit. So instead of having every visualization inside the UI, we're going to create it dynamically. So for this, we're creating a function first. So we're going to copy paste this code here. Now we can say, and then inside here, we can copy paste this here. And then every class is going to be specific for every visualization on the page. So we can call this class specific Then the header is going to be different as well. And then we have to have a unique ID for every action button. Okay, so now we can save this and we're going to save this inside the R folder. And then we're going to source it in the app.r file. So we're going to do this after we've loaded the libraries. And then what we're going to say is we're going to say list.files and then we say GA dashboard and then we're going into the R folder. So this is going to list all the uh, files that are inside the R folder currently. So right now there's only one file in there but later on there are going to be many many files. So after that we're using the here package to append the directory. So we say here which gives us the root directory then we're going to say ga dashboard slash r and then we're going to have the dot placeholder where we're going to append the file name and the good thing is that this the whole operation here is basically vectorized so we don't have to have a, have to have a for loop list.file lists every every file in the r directory and then the here function is vectorized. So whatever we put in here, we're going to do this for, for every file that we get from here. The source package is not vectorized and that's why we're going to use per. We don't want any output, so we're, so we're going to use walk. We're using an anonymous function and then we're using the source function to source the file the files that are inside the R folder and right now it's only one. After that we're going to delete a lot of lines of code inside the fluid page and what we're going to do now is we're going to render the visualizations dynamically because later when a user logs into the application the graphs are going to be different for, for every user. So we can't have them static in the fluid page. We have to create them dynamically. So how we can do that, that is we can say shiny UI output. And then we have an output ID. We can call that whatever we would like. I'm just gonna call it first plots. And then inside the server function, we have to say output dollar sign first plots and then we're going to use the render UI function. I believe it's capitalized. And then inside here we're using the Google Analytics Vis function. we have three arguments and then inside the render UI function we're going to use pmap because we for, for now we're going to have two vectors but later on we're going to have more arguments inside the Google Analytics function 
that creates the graphs for us. So we could have used pmap2 to loop over two vectors at the same time instead of doing a double for loop. However, what pmap allows us to use as many ve vectors as we would like. And because later on we're going to have more than two vectors we're going to loop over, we're going to start with pmap now oh, from the perm package. So we say pmap and then we have a list and inside that list we can say x equals and here we have our IDs so we can say a, b and c. These are our IDs for the action button and then we're also going to we're also going we are also having the, the headers of the visualizations. So here we can say visualization number one visualization number two and we have visualization number three so after that we have a function right now only with x and y and then inside that function we have our custom function that we just made so inside here we have class specific which equals to paste zero And we have class underscore and then x. The header is equal to y and then the id is equal to x. So this is going to be created dynamically when we load the application. So let's see if it works. We get an error. And the error is there's no package called shin, so we're going to say shiny. We're going to save that, and then we're going to run this again. So all these visualizations, instead of being created in the UI, they're now being created in the server and rendered dynamically. So in the next video, I'm going to replace the empty cars data set with a real data set. And then we're also going to do some data wrangling to create some real visualizations from the real data.